Hello, I'm Ian, and if there's one thing that I love, it's really, really bad movies. So I thought, why not make a show where I subject my friends to these really, really bad movies, and we could watch these bad movies so you don't have to. So today I have brought Tommy on to experience Experience. The, the uh, 2005 Emma Roberts classic, <sighs> Spy Mate. Um, it's like it's Spy Mate because it's a it's a it's a movie with a monkey, so it's like Primate. He's a spy. Spy Mate. Oh. That pun totally works. I think so too. It didn't take me days to realize that's what it was. <laughs> One of the reasons why why you were selected specifically for this movie was because I think we, I had mentioned this movie and I was like, yeah, there's a, a monkey spy movie called Spy Mate with Emma Roberts and I'm pretty sure you like yelped. Oh, I think I went. <gasps> yeah. Um, so I, I felt like you were you were perfect Thank you. Uh, to experience this with me. And then boy, was it an experience. Oh, it was boy. incredible. This is a very rigorous process that we went through, and I have developed a rating system. Mm -hmm. It's called the Ian scale. I, A, N. I, idea. Was this movie a good idea? Yeah, well. A, acting. Did they eat? Did they eat? Uh, that's a phrase I use every day. Uh, and finally, N, entertaining. That's smart. Was it? I Let's thought of out. that one. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a quick log line, just kind of set the table for what this movie is. Oh, this is their log line? This is their log line. I'm, I'm so excited to hear this, okay. Ripped straight from uh, <laughs> How did they IMDb. pitch this movie? Okay. Minky, a super spy primate, and his partner Mike were the two best spies in the business. For years, they made every mission possible. But when Mike retired to raise his baby girl, Amelia, he never predicted that life would come full circle. Um, let's, let's meet the star of this show. Stop! stop. Minky, uh, who is a chimpanzee. And uh, we open with him walking through uh, the desert. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so this, uh, this starts with like a little text scroll Mm -hmm. That says 1994, mm -hmm. the Arabian Desert. Yep. So they're trying to be very like geopolitically uh, abstract. Exactly. They don't really want you to be able to pinpoint. Right. Right. But because this is this was made in 2003. Right. It's like okay, not. <laughs> yeah. like who's gonna be the bad guy? Yeah. Um, also, I want to just point out that um, we see the back of the chimpanzee in this garb. Uh -huh. And then the next shot reveals that it's not a person, it's a chimpanzee. And that- Oh, in this reveal. Yes, in this yeah. reveal. And, yeah. the, uh, and I, I was gagged. <laughs> you thought it was a person? You're like, I don't. I didn't, know, I didn't know, I just knew- You didn't know a chimp could wear clothes? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, uh, so he's a spy. And uh, he goes to check his spy watch, and it shows his location. Mm -hmm. And I just want to point out how big brain I am on this. Motherfucker, that's not the Arabian Desert. That's on the border of Iran and Pakistan. And f them for that. F them for that. Um, I also, I, this is one of my, I, I, so I, I filmed a few clips to send to my friend, because I was like, okay. you're not going to believe what I'm watching. Yeah. And the first clip I showed was the reveal of the desert walk, the close up walk. <laughs> Cause this is a perfect like encompassment of this movie is like, oh, he's doing a little spy stuff. Yeah. And then it cuts back to the chimpanzee with the watch and he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Minky is on a mission to rescue his his partner. Yeah, I think it's Mike is his name. Mike. I just I just refer to him as Dad. Yeah, he's the this. Dad. He's just Dad. He doesn't serve much more than that. So he he comes across this camp with you know the sort of because this is made in two thousand three nondescript, nondescript Arab tags. Yep. Um, um, conveniently, they they hold their hostages right next to the WMDs. 
right where the missile is. Well, where, well, where else would you put them? I don't know. We only got one uh, tent to hold all our stuff. <laughs> let's just let's just jump to the very first um, epic fight scene. So a uh, guy comes in with a sword. Yeah, Minky pulls out a sword. Minky pulls out a sword, goes, and it <laughs> and it grows. Yeah, the sword, sword just grows. grows. And then when they're fighting, the <laughs> the chimpanzee to like disorient the <laughs> other guy. <laughs> Does it well? He does plenty. Oh, he does a backflip, and then he kisses the guy. My question being, yeah. is it homophobic or chimpophobic? <laughs> oh, What's, what are they going for? They're like, oh, a guy just kissed me. What? Or oh, is it like yeah. a monkey? I think if an ape kissed me, I'd be like a little, a little like <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's crazy that this feels problematic, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, right. that's an that's an animal. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so yeah, he defeats this guy. He unties Mike. Yep. Uh, and then let's go to this next bit where he uh, brutally murders a group of people with a frag grenade. I literally forgot about this. <laughs> yep. Um, so he didn't stop his murderous rampage there. No. Uh, he set a, a charge on the WMD, yes. and they blow up the camp, probably killing even more people. For sure. And they get away on like the sick glider. <laughs> You're calling it sick. Where was this glider? Who's holding? Where is this? Where was this stored? I don't know, cause he was, cause he was just walking across the desert. He was, was like, is that how Dad got there? Is he like, hell yeah, whoa? Yeah, I, I, like, I, got I, him. I don't know. And then right after this, we get we get just this little bit of exposition. You know, I think it's time that I leave the spy business. <laughs> I've got a daughter I have to raise. That picture of the family is the most like cartoon. The wife being like, and the yeah. daughter being like, I love that. Well, don't worry, pal. You saved my behind more than once. I'll make sure that you end up in a place that's safe, a place that you like where you fit in. <laughs> cool. Remember that. Yeah. Remember that he said you'll end up in a place that you'll like that you really that you'll fit in. fit in. Yeah, so we're in present day 2004, which is uh, 10 years after they quit the spy after, business. Yeah, 10 years yeah. after he blew up a bunch of people in the Arabian desert. Mm -hmm. This movie, it doesn't fuck around with exposition. It just gets no. right to the point. They barf it out without any kind of, you know, fan they're just like, I'm this now. Yep. Yep. And the very first uh the very first frame of uh, Emma Roberts' character, Amelia, we see she's smart. She's smart, she's making something on the computer, she pressed two buttons and things started moving on the screen, yep. as you do when you're designing something. Yep, yep. <laughs> like looking at it, it goes beep, beep, I did it. It's like this Mac's from, <laughs> this Mac can barely handle anything. Um, so now we're gonna get, uh, we're jumping forward about 30 seconds and we're gonna get another exposition dump. Look at this, Nikki made the front page. You know, the circus must be in town. You know, I, I should take you to meet him. Right, Dad. Minky, the chimpanzee. So Minky went to a place where he would be happy and and live the rest of his life in happiness. He got sent to a fucking circus. <laughs> He's a circus act now. He's working in a circus, which is like the worst place for an animal animal to be. Yeah. Also, how boring is this town that the front page is? There's a monkey in town. Dude, there are <laughs> there are like. There are like four different sequences in this movie where they give exposition on like a newspaper headline. They love that gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. We learn a lot in this yes. in this 10 seconds. Uh, he was a spy, but 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 his daughter doesn't believe him. <laughs> that was your spy partner? Dad, I stopped believing those stories when I was eight. Those stories are true. He's an insurance salesman. Or he's just an insurance salesman. The dad. Yeah, he's yes. that's just what he does now. You're an insurance salesman, remember? Right. And um, we're gonna see something that's uh, an odd theme that I caught throughout this movie. Okay. I don't know if you noticed this. I'm interested. Um, there's a lot of kissing between the dad and the daughter. <laughs> really? Love you. Hey. I love Whoa. you more. Just keep that in mind, because it's gonna come back. <laughs> they really turned up the gain on that ADR. <laughs> yeah, then there's this whole bit about like Minky being in the circus, and there's this other circus act, 
and I just hate all of this, and I'm actually just not even going to really talk about the circus much. Oh, really? Because I hate the characters in it so much. But can we please cover, can I just walk through them really quick? Yeah, we can walk through them. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I understand why you wouldn't want to talk about this. This was perhaps my favorite sequence in the movie. Okay. So first we are shown the a woman who is the human bowling ball, uh -huh. which is, you know, yep. 2003 coded. Um, she, she curls up into a ball at the top of a ramp and slides down to what I can only describe as like... Human bowling pins? Human bowling pins, but they're like nightmare, they're like, let's bring them in and they're like... They're like scary like Oompa Loompa vibes. It like made me want to barf. So she goes and knocks them down, great. We've got one of our four characters in. Mm -hmm. Then they introduce a strong man, and that's fine. He's strong, he pulls a tractor. We love him. He doesn't, he think he says two words this whole movie. Yeah. Then there's a trapeze artist person, and that's really cool. He's just a, you know, trapeze. He flies. He, yeah, 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 he's the, yeah. that. Then they introduce, I believe his name is Lightning, mm. and he's just the Flash. Yeah, he's like, he legitimately has superpowers. He legitimately just, it's really fast. Yeah. He can zip zap around, it's crazy. Yeah. Meanwhile, mm. Minky is gearing up to arrive at the circus. Yeah. He's putting on his watch, he's getting all like put up and together. He walks outside of his trailer, he has a trailer. Yeah. He launches into the sky with his jetpack. Okay, Flies yeah. through the sky. Yep. Through the clouds. Yep. Next to a British Airways plane. Yes, a specifically British Airways. A kid in the plane goes, oh? <laughs> Minky keeps going, arrives back at the circus. Where yeah. did he go? He started where he's going. I know, I know. He lands at the circus and the guy goes, please welcome Minky. And he just walks in. Yeah! He just walks in. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. And he everyone's, was flying like, all everyone's like, yeah! And I'm like, what, what, what did you see? I thought he was gonna what? like fly into the, yeah. into the, but he, he flew all around and then he walked <laughs> in. He just walked in. So what was the point of the, of the jetpack? So here's the, the guy that flies. This is one of the. The longest fall ever. Oh, I hate them. I hate them so much. Yeah. Okay. They they all like share one brain cell. They're all very like, I don't know. I, when I first saw them, I was like, is this the squad that they're gonna get together with? Are they gonna like help out? Yeah. And I wasn't wrong, but I was not right. Yeah. And we are introduced to a nefarious undertone yep. because a henchman is is watching oh, her. Oh yeah. And this henchman yeah. is hiding by holding. A bouquet of flowers just in front of his face. Yep. And then he goes and takes a picture of him like. And just takes like the creepiest photo. So anyway, um, our very smart 11 year old Amelia built a laser. Yeah. That's what she's been building, an actual laser. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so she, she builds this laser, but it's malfunctioning. It's not working. And she's about to show it to this like, award show and it has yeah. to demonstrate for her to get this special award and it's not working. So she's like, hmm, wait a second. <laughs> and she yep. takes the hair tie out of her hair mm -hmm. and kind of just puts it on. Yeah. It's not stretched out. It's not really whole. She just kind of puts it on and then it works. Of course, we gotta, we gotta learn what this laser is. It's this we, laser, We gotta man. find out how smart Amelia is. Yeah. This is a chemical oxygen iodide laser drill. The chemical laser drills into the ground by eating through it and turning the rock and soil into a gas compound largely composed of oxygen, basically into O2, breathable air. It's also environmentally friendly. Uh, may I ask a question? Will the physics of your prototype translate perfectly to an industrial application 100 times its present size? <laughs> I, I, I swear he was gonna go, can I ask a question? What the f did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> I, they they used up all of they they were like we need someone smart to work on this movie yeah. and he wrote that paragraph and then was like I'm out yeah it turns into O2 basically Please. oxygen <laughs> <laughs> yes Emma so she wins the award the science award for building her future death laser mm -hmm. and um, and then we get we get this 
Another kiss from daddy. So evil, do evil doctor guy yep. who's like giving bad vibes the whole time. He is talking to the dad and the daughter mm -hmm. and takes out his very 2001 flip phone. Mm -hmm. And as the dad's talking, it, there's like a hologram that comes out and digitally like captures. Well, he captures, he captures his face and voice with a pin and then projects it onto his. I didn't even catch that. Regardless, I'm loving the. This is real science, Tommy. It's, oh, it's basically O2. They I ate actually, with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually, I legitimately love uh, this guy in this movie. Yes. R Richard Kind. Yes. He actually like kills this role. Okay, so then dad takes her home and tucks her into bed. And then we, we get this. Good night. Oh. Kisses are good. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> I, how did I miss this? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a dad kissing a daughter, but like, but the, these are actors, and you're making the dad kiss this daughter so many times. So many times. So many times, and it's just weird. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just very odd. So then uh, the dad lets Amelia go with this totally not evil science guy. Yeah. Um, no and, questions. And then this happens. Have fun. Be good. I love you. Okay. Kiss it again. Tonight. Oh God. Okay. And that'll be the last time he kisses her for quite a while. Uh-huh, because, uh-oh, she's been kidnapped and uh -oh, they're going to Japan. I've taken Amelia out of the country so you will not be able to reach her. She'll be helping me with a top secret project. That is all. This message will self-destruct in- He finishes his, he's like, you'll never see your daughter again. And then he goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Dude. what? He That's awesome. The fact Actually, that it, the, it, so it completely melts. Completely. We thought it was gonna blow up and it just melts. Also, um, for, for the viewing audience right now, this was the first time I think that we're seeing uh, the dad's spy par partner person. Yeah, she's like his like spy, she's like his, um, what was it called in James Bond, Q? Q, Q? yes, yeah. yeah. She's got the gadgets, she's got all this stuff. And um, it is the mom from that 70s show. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, so okay. now we got to get the daughter back. So now he's going to enlist the help of his old partner that he literally left to rot in the circus. Mm -hmm. It's my daughter, Amelia. She's been kidnapped. I think we've got to go back into the spy business to get her back. Minky is making cocktails. Yeah. He, has, he is in the middle of pouring and making cocktails as his friend is coming, he's making two. I don't really, did he know he was coming? I'm just lost about I that. Think, no, I think he sat him down and then made him And then made them? He's like, I gotta pour you a drink, we got a lot to talk about. It's, I'm just like, <laughs> that screwed me over. Uh, and then, as they're like, so they're like, we got it, it's time we're going to do this mission. They walk out of the trailer yep. in front of the four circus people. Yep. And um, Mrs. Ball, bowling ball, uh -huh. um, Mrs. Ball goes, Minky? Is that you? It's like, there's no other chimpanzee. Oh, he's, he's just wearing, wearing a, suit. a suit. Oh. He's wearing a suit now. She's like, huh? It's okay. They all go nonverbal later in the movie. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's all very strange. Also, I just now realized he literally only wears this suit in right this now. scene. Right now. Yes. And then he's no longer wearing that suit, nope. right? Yes. Okay. Followed by him throwing the keys. To, to, the, Minky, to Minky. To Minky. drive away. I didn't realize Minky drove. He drove. Wow. And then we see, um, I think it's the trapeze guy and Mr. Lightning on a, a tan, like a, like yeah, a motorcycle can... with a little bike thing. Yeah. And the guy, the, the trapeze guy is just going. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, so now we're all off to save the daughter. Right, we're off to save the daughter. Um, Come on, Emma. And then we get like this like, we get even more exposition and we have to know Minky's backstory because you see oh, Minky yeah. was a part of a government project to create a super primate. And then the government was like, eh. Nah. And then <laughs> yeah. literally put him in storage. No food, he's, no, just, he's just in a box. He was literally hired to terminate Minky. Mike was assigned the job of disposing of Minky. 
Like, was, yeah. that was his job. And yeah. then Minky saves his life from the worst possible assassins. From two Russians that were in a little pond. Yeah. Get ready for some sick action. I get mad, you get monkey. <laughs> Like, was, yeah. that was his job. And yeah. then Minky saves his life from the worst possible assassins. From two Russians that were in a little pond. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, you know what? I guess I won't kill you. Yep. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Uh, so back to pre uh, present day, and um, Spy Dad needs to follow a lead on a scientist mm -hmm. um, named Dr. Amor. And she's vacationing in Jamaica. So guys, we're traveling to Jamaica. And this is one of the first things we see in Jamaica, Dr. Amore. I wonder how she'll be revealed. Mm-hmm. And then here comes a headline. So this movie loves explaining things with headlines. There's another one where they where he enters the hotel in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. There's a bad guy, this bad bald guy. He is it's hiding behind a newspaper and the newspaper says, Reggae festival coming to Jamaica. It's like, in case you like, forgot where we were. Bro. Yeah, this henchman loves hiding behind things in a very obvious way. Yeah. Um, you'll, we'll, we'll find as we get to know Dr. Amor more that she is like, I don't know if the actor is actually French, but she is leaning in to that accent. Yeah. She's like, how are you today? Yes. It's like, what are you, huh? Oh, Jesus. And um, Minky, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve that involve oh, a coconut, dropping a coconut on a bad guy's head. I figured out why the father's in Jamaica. <laughs> this is, um, you're correct. <laughs> this is. Mm -hmm. Sleep and beauty, wake up, man. Huh? It's time to get down to the rhythm of the islands. When I first saw <laughs> that sequence, I had to walk away from my computer. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot to unpack, and I don't think I need to even touch the suitcase, <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that happens in like the next 20 minutes that literally does not matter. It truly like does not matter. So uh, Dr. Moore's like, Mon Dieu, they, they are in Japan. It could wipe Japan off the face of the earth. The, the, the headquarters facility. where this giant laser is, yeah. uh, where they've kidnapped Amelia to is Japan. Yeah, it's in like a, on a in a volcano or like a like a mountain or volcano. It's a volcano, yeah, yeah. Then like the circus people like break into a, a, a they break into the doctor's house. The doctor's when like the doctor mansion, isn't there. Yeah, to find out that he's in Japan. Japan. Yeah, that's how they learn. That's so how like, they learn that is, and then they were already gonna go to Japan. Do you see how confusing this movie is? Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of extra that didn't need to happen. Yeah, so they go to Japan, which is just Vancouver with a bunch of like Japanese like lettering yes, on signs. They just slap shit yeah, everywhere. You're like, um, to make it Japanese. That's Vancouver. Yeah. In the in this house break in moment. Yes. yes. Um there's a part where Miss Ball. Yeah. I love Miss Ball. Miss Ball goes on the computer, and at this point forward, we are nonverbal now. Okay. The circus people, do, where no more words really exist. So she's like, huh, hmm. And then they come out, they're like, huh? It's like, oh, hmm. <laughs> it's like, what happened? And then Miss Ball gets to do her trick one more gets time. Her thing. And she gets to, as some cops, I'm guessing, no, or security. Security are like, stop, stop. And she's at the top of the stairs and everyone's watching. She curls back up. She goes right down those stairs. She knocks them down. She's, it's, like, it's like Tracy Turnblad all grown up. 
I, I really, I really can't handle it. I love Miss Ball. And now, and, and, and let me just tell you, no more circus people in the movie. No. That was it. That was it. They're gonna come back at the end and be like, yay! That's yeah. it. But they, 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 didn't <laughs> serve, they didn't serve any purpose because they told them to go to Japan. They were already going to Japan. So they literally did a B and E for no reason. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now Amelia is in Japan, mm -hmm. and her dumbass still doesn't realize that she's being used to make a giant death laser. For someone smart enough to make a laser, she's really not picking up on what's going on here. No, because when that guy, um, when that guy took the, the the scan of the dad's face, he re he records all these videos that are of her dad being like, "Hey, Amelia, you're doing a great job." Uh, yeah. Keep working on that laser. Right, whenever she gets a little like, hmm, this is weird. And the amount of time she's like, this is weird. The dad's like, hey kid, I love you, shut the fuck up. She's like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> there, there was a legitimately funny uh, one where, where she's like, dad, I'm getting kind of tired. And he's like, well, just suck it up. Yeah, suck it up and keep working on the drill. Yeah. Well, just suck it up. This movie needs to calm down. Yeah. This movie's pretty racist. I was gonna say, this movie's extremely racist. <laughs> I don't know if this is something they, they had planned, but um, there's kind of a weird thing of like American bad guys um, trying to make Japan explode. Yep. Yeah. The bad guys spotted Minky on the helicopter. They send guys on snowmobiles to get him. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, he's rescued by a snow ninja. Because it's Japan, so there's gotta be ninjas. Of course. Of course. Uh, and surprise, surprise, the Snow Ninja, Pat Morita. Yeah. Mr. Miyagi. This is one of the last movies he was in before passing away. Yes. I was told that fact recently and I was not happy with that fact. Yeah, even, yeah, yeah. And this movie was filmed in 2003 but didn't come out until like 2005. Direct so to DVD, had, I'm assuming. Uh, no, it played in, it played in a, in theaters. Where? Um, well, as far as I can tell, in the research that I did, it played in one country in theaters. Could you guess? <laughs> Brazil. It played in the United Arab Emirates. Oh, God. Where it made $46,000. Yeah! <laughs> Show the clip of the thumbs up guy going by. <laughs> So maybe it got a, it might have got a Canadian release. The only box office numbers that I saw was that it made forty six thousand dollars, yeah. forty six thousand dollars, and forty six thousand and seven dollars um, worldwide. Wow, um, and seven. Yeah, and Pat Morita, one of his last films he ever made, and you can see during this, he's very old. Yes. We'll just go to this scene. I just want to point out how confused this, this ape looks during this scene. You have come to save me, <laughs> but you will also be saving all of Japan. We have been expecting <laughs> you. Pause it. Just. just yeah. it's, honestly, it's giving. Yeah. <laughs> I, Do you think they used the same shot over and over again? That's what it feels yeah, like. Almost. I feel like they had like two minutes with the chimp before we went <laughs> bananas. Yeah. And they're like, F just use the same clip. Just use the clip. Like it's the it only looks like one he's where listening. he's not like, ah! All right, why am I in a movie? Yeah. He has to like test his skills to make sure he's worthy, maybe. They don't explain it. Yeah. They're going to fight. It's not a training sequence because he already can fight. So yeah. they just fight. To fight? So he just beats an old man senseless. That's so great. The only shots where you could tell where it's Pat Morita are like the shots where it's his face being like, huh. Like, and oh. then like the rest yeah. of the time it's clearly a stunt double. Right. So um, they didn't even try no. to get like a stunt double that looked like him. I took a screenshot of the guy. Oh, that's just a different, that's a full different man. Just a full different he man. He has different facial hair. <laughs> yeah. He didn't do anything. Nope. And then we reveal how this dad, this dad message is happening. I thought that it was like a 3D, cause he like scanned like the dad. Like just a CG replication right. of N the dad. No, it's the doctor as he takes off the mask of the dad Mission Impossible style. Yeah, and it's bad. <laughs> it's 
bad. It, it seems like this is way more work than a computer generated person. That was disgusting. Her finding it or is it Oh, you mean when she walks into the room moments later and, and is just poking the mask over and over again, it's going Dad. And at some point, I don't remember, and I honestly don't fucking care, um, the dad and Dr. Amora get captured. Yes, that's right. And he has them tied up. And right. he's like, finish this death laser. His whole reasoning for this death laser is like, I'm gonna drill in to the volcan to the Earth's core and we're gonna get unlimited energy that way. Right. But it's Dr. Amore's theory that if he drills into the Earth's core, it's going to create an explosion, explosion. that can destroy Japan. And she said it like this. If you No, I won't. <laughs> Please. If you drill into the, the volcano, it will blow up all of Japan. Dr. Farley is going to use your drill to bore into a volcano, but this will cause a massive explosion. It could help many people if it was used properly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, also, Amor is slaying. Sure. She's wearing this incredible red jumpsuit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. let me just say, she's wearing that jumpsuit properly. Properly. She figures out the problem with the laser because there's still an issue. Right, what could the problem be? Gosh, what now, could the problem be? Now, what was the problem with the first laser? Hmm. The, oh, oh, the, the hair headband. tie, headband. Yeah. So the, he has them make a giant headband to fix yes. the laser. Um, while they're doing that, the scientist has uh, Dad and Dr. Moore to be taken outside and, you know, two to the back of the head or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and fortunately, Minky, who's been climb, climbing up the mountain, yes. makes his way into the secret base. Mm -hmm. And he's here to save the day and kill some more people. Very funny, Muggins. <laughs> um, what did he mean by that? Like, those two guys got knocked out, and the guy's like, very funny. Like, nice one. Like, what? Cool like, prank, guys. So this drill is now actively it's now actively drilling down. down. So we're now we're now running out of time. We're running out of time. Yes. And there's the the classic scene of the, you know, sort of femme fatale, Dr. Amore, yep. coming in to seduce the evil scientist to distract him. That's right. But the distraction doesn't actually do anything. Nope. Because they still wind up Minky and the dad dropping down. She's like, she's like, I have always loved you since forever. <laughs> and does nothing. And no. then when they drop down, she just walks away. Right, to like the, to the to, to Amelia, yeah. yeah. So the, the seduction part served the, zero just purpose. Just wasted time. <laughs> just, it was just a moment for them to be like, she's sexy. Weird. Weird. Um, so of course, guys, we're in Japan. We have to have a ninja, ninja fight. fight. So uh, Pat Morita drops in with a bunch of ninjas and they fight and listen to this epic sound effects that they used. Hate it. I heard a, we got a boy oing oing. Yep. We got a tinks symbol hit. I think there's also a woo hoo. We got a woo hoo. <laughs> Where, wh where's this tone been? Th that, you know, I like know. now we're cartoon. I guess they thought maybe it was like too violent for kids. Honestly, like, that makes sense. That it was like, <laughs> like let's soften this up with a little boing oing oing. Yeah. Yeah. So they set the death laser to explode. Of course, the place is gonna explode. Right. They gotta get out of there. How are they gonna get out of there? Um, they run out of the building, and all of a sudden, Amelia and, and Minky have snowboards. That's correct. And um, Dad and Dr. Moore get on a snowmobile and drive off. And there is so much room on there that is snowmobile. So much room on the snowmobile. Room enough for, say, a small child and a small monkey. I took a screen cap. Look at all that space. You could fit five, six chimpanzees on that. Yeah. <laughs> so they, dad gets on the snowmobile. He's like, we gotta go. Wah! Takes off, leaving Amelia and, and, the, and the chimp to put on snowboards and snowboard. to ride slowly down the hill. Yes. Like, great job, Dad. The place explodes. Yeah. Um, 
presumably killing a lot of people. Yep. That explosion sets off an avalanche. No! And this is our big climactic event. They spent money on this avalanche. The CG of this avalanche is not playing around. It's honestly not that bad. They're safe. The snowmobile, they're safe there. They're in mortal danger. Uh-oh, there's a cliff. When they fly off the cliff. Yeah, you thought they were just dead. <laughs> there's, um... It's Thelma and Louise. Yes. Just ends right there. Yes. I, that, that one really took me away. I, don't, I just had to, I needed another moment to react to that and take that in when they flew off. Amelia thought for sure she was gonna die right here. For sure. Yeah, this 100%. is the first time she's confronted with death. Yeah, yeah. and let's, let's, um, let's see her reaction. Oh, the and, moment after. and boy is it a reaction. Cool. <laughs> Who said that? Cool. Cause, Cause that doesn't sound like, that was definitely like, that and voice was recorded after. That was an ADR moment for sure. <laughs> you fly off a cliff. Yep. You think you're about to die. You're also with a chimpanzee. Yeah. It, where did the parasail thing come from? I guess he just had it in his backpack or yeah. something. And then you're, and then the response is, <laughs> cool. Yeah, also how are they attached? Cause he just jumped onto her back. He's got, he's got that grip. <laughs> he's got that gorilla grip. He's got that grip. Oh no. Okay, so um, yeah, they land. Hey. Here it comes. Oh, Amelia. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy you made it. There's another kiss. Gotta get, that, gotta get that kiss in. And um, there's one more kiss. Weird. Too many kisses. Too many Far kisses. too many kisses. That's what this, it should be spy mate, too many kisses. <laughs> too many kisses, spy mate two, many kisses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of spy mate two, they set up a spy, like they set up for a sequel at the end of this. They did. Yeah. The president calls. The president calls and he's like, good job, Minky, you're back on the force or whatever. He's like, but we've got a super special secret project for you. And then he puts on glasses. Yeah. And he's like, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> But then also like, why does the president know about this? Cause this was, as far Wasn't as they knew- was he supposed to be executed? Yeah. When did they change their mind and say, yeah, he's fine actually. Yeah, cause he was just in the circus. Like why do they even care? Also that's the American president. They're up in Canada. And that's spy mate. <laughs> um, there's, there's a series of movies made by the same guy. Uh, like uh, MVP, most vertical primate. Vertical? Vertical, because he's 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 a skateboarder. Okay. And then there's <laughs> and then there's a that's MVP two, I think. The first MVP is uh, most valuable primate, and he's oh. a a hockey Doctor? A hockey player. Oh, I think. And then okay. there's another, and then there's another one where he snowboards. Is this? Do you think they hired the same chimpanzee for all of these movies? How many acting chimpanzees are there? I don't, I, okay. I looked up some of, the, uh, some of the foreign titles for this movie. Oh my God, please. Uh, in Argentina, it was, I'll just try to say it in a, in a Spanish accent. Should you? Well, cause it has to be, <laughs> cause it doesn't make sense if you just say it. James Mono, Super Detective. Oh. The cover of this is way cooler. Whoa! He's got a gun. There's helicopters oh flying everywhere. There's only one helicopter in the movie. Uh, if you go to the American version. That's a horrible cover. It's insanely bad. Every other uh, country where this came out, he, he had a gun. And in the English version, they replaced the gun with a banana. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Rotten Tomato score. Uh, can't be above 20. That's correct. It yes. has a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. Granted, like only seven people reviewed this movie. <laughs> yeah. It has a 3.9 on IMDb. Sh Whoa. Which I must say is better than Smosh the Movies 3.3. Wow. <laughs> we got to Photoshop a banana in your hand. Yeah, that's right. 
We got to put this on the Ian scale. Yeah. First, I. first movie on the Ian scale. I idea. Idea. Is, is the a, idea good? Is a is a chimpanzee spy movie a good idea? Yeah. I'm gonna say capital N. No. Yeah. No. It's not, not a chance. It's not because you. You need a spy to be competent, and it's very clear this chimpanzee is not competent. They have to yes. cut around it so much to so show them doing often. like spy things. Yeah, and I will say I have seen um, maybe all of the MVP movies. Um, no, you haven't. And and let me tell you what, he is not any better at snowboarding. Okay. <laughs> um, he rescued a girl snowboarding, apparently. True. Yeah. Um, okay. Acting. Did they eat? Did they eat, Ian? Um, I would say Richard Kind. Richard Kind ate. Ate up that whole plate. Yes, no crumbs. No uh, crumbs. Uh, Miss Ball, actually, may I vouch for Miss Ball? She Got said, floor. Oh. and hmm. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is and true. And whoa, uh, she's like killing it. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, sort of, I'm giving it like a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And finally in, entertaining. There were parts that there, there were, were parts. parts, but like literally, like we spared y'all from like forty minutes of completely unnecessary movie. Yes, so they go all around. There's a there's a there's a scene where the bad guy chases Minky. Minky's on a skateboard. Oh my god, I forgot about the this. bad guys on a motorcycle, and they're going the same speed. Somehow. They're going the same speed. The motorcycle cannot catch up with yeah. the skateboard. It's yeah. crazy. So Ian scale. Is that, how many Ian's do you give it then? <laughs> you know, yeah. I give this movie, uh, I give this movie a, a, a three out of 10. <laughs> three out of 10. Three Ian's out of, out of 100. Ends. Maybe a three out of 100. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, um, it is a movie. It's, it is a movie. It is, it is a, a movie. movie. Mm-hmm. Barely. Barely. Was it worth watching? Was it worth watching? Should they watch it? No, no. You don't. This was. You got it. You got it. Don't. From this, you got yeah. it. Don't watch this. <laughs> so, if there's any other movies that you've been like, what is that weird thing, and you yeah. don't want to watch it, and you want us to watch it and go through that and explain it to you and laugh about it, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah. If there's a movie that you think I should force a specific cast member to watch, also think on that. Um, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Tommy. For, Thank you, Ian, for going through this trauma. So so wonderful me. to have watched that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go kiss my daughter. <laughs>